Hey everybody, welcome back to Sky Lounge. Here to review some movies. Specifically Ready Player One. Uh, released in fucking March 29, 2018, ladies and gentlemen. Directed by Steven Spielberg. Music composed by Alan Silvestri. Cinematography by Janusz Kaminski. Now, this is a... Honestly, I had a really good time watching this film. So let's just talk about the plot a little bit here. So the plot revolves around this kind of dystopian future in Columbus, Ohio, where kind of the reality uh, in the real world is kind of shit. And so people, you know, live vicariously through these avatars in a virtual world called the Oasis. And so right then and there, you're like, oh shit, plot's already interesting. Like, it kind of reels you in. Because the concept is very unique in, in, in a way. Um, is, it, is it anything new? No. But the way they address it, the way they put all these references, um, you know, especially the pop culture video game and movie references from like the 80s, 90s, and even in the 2000s right now, they had like a couple of Overwatch shit, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But honestly, the, the concept was very, it, it was unique enough where it just reeled you in from, from the start, really. And isn't that what Spielberg kind of does? He gets, he, creates this unique idea and concept he just kind of boom reels you in right then and there and so to me what the weakest part of this movie really what it came down to was the characters um so the characters obviously you got the main protagonist uh wade watts you know his his avatar name is fucking jesus what was his fucking name on there it was uh god I completely forget. But Wade Watts, a uh, couple other cats in there. The, the name's gonna fucking come to me. I'm just an idiot. But to be fair, the characters were fun, but they weren't memorable. You could have switched them out with other actors, other characters, and to me it would have made a fucking difference. Um, and, you know, that's just one guy's opinion, obviously, and I just definitely think this might have been the weakest part of the film. Because when you look at things like the visual aspect, I mean, which Kaminsky did a tremendous job on the cinematography and just the way everything was placed uh, from scene to scene, you know, Easter eggs to, to shots. I mean, again, Spielberg is Spielberg for a fucking reason, right? He's one of the greatest directors of our time. So the visuals were absolutely stunning. This is one of those movies where you go to watch it, where you kind of see, wow, the progression of technology in movies and film. This is what it's all about. So it was a very, because of the unique concept and the ideas, the visuals really played really well into that part. And let's talk about the music. Alan Silvestri is a goddamn genius, all right? Uh, the guy der, uh, composed the soundtrack for Back to the Future, a couple of those Captain America movies. And so you kind of see, you kind of hear the homage to Back to the Future in a lot of these, um, in a lot of these scenes, like the fucking chime bell ring, like that shit plays a lot. And the music really fit well with what they were trying to do. Not just the composition music by Alan Silvestri, but a lot of the compilation tracks, um, for, you know, the 1980s tracks, which were actually fucking phenomenal. I love the 80s. I, I love 80s music. The, the synth and all that shit, it just gets me going. So, music was fantastic. Fantastic, And some of the miscellaneous shit, I would say just all those Easter eggs in there were fucking phenomenal to watch. And that's, that's the thing, man. I mean, this is one of those movies where it's a really fun movie. The, you know, the conflict is very black and white. There's a clear bad guy, clear good guy. I'm kind of used to the gray villain, the gray, you know, moral bullshit. So this was kind of odd, but at the same time I understood, you know, it's kind of... It's kind of Spielberg's signature, isn't it? Very clear conflict. Very clear, you know, protagonist-antagonist kind of deal. And fun movie. Very fun movie. But again, I think it was just kind of bogged down by the kind of generic characters. So overall, man, I would give this movie a good 8.0. Definitely worth checking out, especially if you're a video game enthusiast, which it will hit home right here, that ending. If you're a fucking video game enthusiast, you will love that shit. But, you know, it's a fantastic movie, 
Everyone should definitely go watch it. But let me know what you guys think if you've watched it already. Comment, subscribe, all that shit. And until next time, bye.